cytopathology, fluids, washings, or brushings, except cervical or vaginal, smears with interpretation. Simple filter method with interpretation. Specimen is obtained by separately reportable washing or brushing procedure. Code 88104 reports cytopathology evaluation of smear specimens, including alcohol fixed, Papanicolaou, direct smear with 95% ethanol, or liquid fixative. Report 88106 for a simple filter method only. Cytopathology, concentration technique, smears and interpretation, e.g., Sakamano technique. Cytopathology, concentration technique, e.g., Sakamano, cytocentrifugation, and cytospins, may be done on many different types of specimen samples like bronchial, cervicovaginal, and conjunctival brushings, nipple discharge, sputum, and gastrointestinal epithelial cell specimens. Cellular smear preparations, cervicovaginal, conjunctival, bronchial brushings, nipple discharge, are immediately fixated in 95% ethanol or PAP fixative to eliminate drying. GI, urologic, and sputum samples are collected with a Sacamano fixative added. Following preparation, the sample is centrifuged to yield a pellet at the bottom of the tube and overlying supernatant. The clear fluid supernatant is decanted completely and the pellet is used to make direct smears of the concentrated sample for cytopathology and cell counts. Cytocentrifugation, cytospins, smears and interpretations are then preformed. Cytopathology, selective cellular enhancement technique with interpretation, e.g., liquid-based slide preparation method except cervical or vaginal. Selective cellular enhancement for cytopathology, such as liquid-based slide preparation method, is reported when both concentration and enrichment of cytology specimens is done beyond a concentration technique alone reported with 88108, e.g., Sacamano, cytocentrifugation, and cytospins. Enhancement technologies allow not only for concentration of the diagnostic material, but also for removing of background debris on complicated specimens that cannot be evaluated with typical concentration techniques alone. One liquid-based slide preparation method uses a filtration system with a disposable filter, support, and means of drawing fluid where cells are caught within a large enough area to provide a high-quality, high-yield monolayer slide that has good quantity, distribution, and clarity for diagnostic purposes. When a sample is prepared using enhanced cytopathology, the slide preparation is examined and compared to previous studies. Cytopathology, in situ hybridization, e.g., fish, urinary tract specimen with morphometric analysis, 3 to 5 molecular probes, each specimen, manual. Using computer assisted technology. Fluorescence in situ hybridization, fish. DNA probe technology is a technique used to determine nucleic acid sequences within cells. Probes, short sequences of fluorescently labeled, single-strand DNA, are created. These probes match target sequences and bind to complementary strands of DNA, which aids in locating the targeted chromosomes. Fish DNA probe technology can be used to detect chromosomal abnormalities in urinary tract specimens, aiding in the initial identification of bladder cancer, as well as in bladder cancer surveillance. Analysis is done using 3 to 5 molecular probes to determine the organization, structure, form, and composition within the cells being studied, either manually in 88120 or using computer-assisted technology in 88121. Cytopathology, forensic, e.g., sperm. For this cytopathology code, biological samples from crime scenes are studied using techniques common to DNA testing, such as fluorescent staining. 
Forensic cytopathology is the application of this type of testing for legal purposes. Forensic scientists study biological evidence and samples collected at crime scenes, such as hair, blood, and sperm for DNA testing to assist in the inclusion or the exclusion of an individual in the crime. Sex chromatin identification, bar bodies. This screening test will identify the presence or lack of sex chromatin. Specimen collection is by buccal mucosa scraping. Specimen should be chemically preserved with a fixative such as 95% ethanol. Method is by smear and microscopy. Examination of cells obtained by amniocentesis for the presence or absence of sex chromatin is a technique used to determine the infant's sex prior to birth. Sex chromatin identification, peripheral blood smear, polymorphonuclear drumsticks. Fluorescent staining techniques are used to identify a bar body in a polymorphonuclear leukocyte. In females one of the two X chromosomes remains tightly coiled. In some nuclei the coiled chromosome is visible as a small dense mass known as a bar body. In the lobulated nucleus of the polymorphonuclear leukocyte it can be seen as a protrusion, often in the shape of a drumstick. Cytopathology, cervical or vaginal, any reporting system, requiring interpretation by physician. This test is for the interpretation by a physician of a Papanicolaou, PAP, smear. Cytopathology, cervical or vaginal, any reporting system, collected in preservative fluid, automated thin layer preparation, Manual screening under physician supervision. With manual screening and rescreening under physician supervision. These tests may be identified by the name thin prep. Specimen collection is by cervical or endocervical scraping or aspiration of vaginal fluid. The physician obtaining the specimen places the specimen in a preservative suspension. At the laboratory, Special instruments take the cells in the preservative suspension and plate out a monolayer for screening the careful review of the specimen for abnormal cells. Report 88142 for manual screening done under physician supervision and 88143 for manual screening followed by manual rescreening, done under physician supervision. System of reporting may be Bethesda or non-Bethesda. Cytopathology smears, cervical or vaginal, screening by automated system under physician supervision. Screening by automated system with manual rescreening under physician supervision. These tests may be identified as a cervical smear, pap smear, or vaginal cytology. Specimen collection is by cervical or endocervical scraping or aspiration of vaginal fluid. Method is microscopy examination of a spray or liquid fixated smear. Cytopathology, slides, cervical or vaginal, manual screening under physician supervision. With manual screening and computer-assisted rescreening under physician supervision. With manual screening and rescreening under physician supervision. The specimen cells are collected by scraping or brushing the cervix or endocervix or aspiration of vaginal fluid. The specimen is smeared onto a slide and chemically treated with a preservative. These codes should be reported when any system other than the Bethesda system of evaluating and describing cervical-slash-vaginal cytopathology slides is used. Code selection is based on the screening process used, with manual screening under physician supervision being reported with 88,150, manual screening and computer-assisted rescreening under physician supervision with 88,152, and manual screening and rescreening under physician supervision with 88,153. Cytopathology, slides, cervical or vaginal, definitive hormonal evaluation, e.g., maturation index, karyopycnotic index, 
estrogenic index. This test may also be identified as the maturation index, cytologic estrogen effect, karyopycnotic index, or estrogenic index. Specimen collection is by tongue depressor or wooden spatula of the lateral vaginal wall. Method is microscopy examination of a spray or liquid fixated smear. The test may be used to determine the balance of estrogen and progesterone of the vaginal squamous epithelium. Cytopathology, smears, any other source, screening and interpretation. Preparation, screening and interpretation. Extended study involving over five slides and slash or multiple stains. Specimen collection is by separately reportable percutaneous needle biopsy. Methods include microscopy examination of smears or a centrifuge specimen. These codes report the pathology examination portion of the procedure only. Code 88160 reports screening and interpretation only. Code 88161 reports preparation, screening and interpretation. Code 88162 reports an extended study involving more than five slides and slash or multiple stains. Cytopathology, slides, cervical or vaginal the Bethesda system, manual screening under physician supervision. With manual screening and rescreening under physician supervision. With manual screening and computer-assisted rescreening under physician supervision. Cytopathology, slides, cervical or vaginal, the Bethesda system with manual screening and computer-assisted rescreening using cell selection and review under physician supervision. Specimen collection is by scraping or brushing the cervix or endocervix, or aspiration of vaginal fluid. Method is microscopy examination of a spray or liquid-coated smear. These codes should be reported when the Bethesda system of evaluating and describing cervical-slash-vaginal cytopathology slides is used. Code selection is based on the screening process used, with manual screening under physician supervision being reported with 88,164, manual screening and rescreening under physician supervision with 88,165, manual screening and computer assisted rescreening under physician supervision with 88,166, manual screening and computer assisted rescreening using cell selection and review under physician supervision with 88167 cytopathology evaluation of fine needle aspirate immediate cytohistologic study to determine adequacy for diagnosis first evaluation episode each site interpretation and report Immediate cytohistologic study to determine adequacy for diagnosis, each separate additional evaluation episode, same site. Following fine needle aspiration, a procedure in which fluid or tissue is extracted using a long slender needle, the aspirated cells are often immediately examined microscopically by a physician in order to determine that diagnostic material is present. Report 88172 for the first evaluation episode, a complete set of cytologic material submitted for evaluation, regardless of the number of needle passes or prepared slides, of each site and 88177 for each separate additional evaluation episode of the same site. Code 88173 reports the final interpretation and report from each anatomic site regardless of the number of evaluation episodes or needle passes performed during the aspiration procedure. Cytopathology, cervical or vaginal, any reporting system, collected in preservative fluid, automated thin layer preparation, screening by automated system, under physician supervision. 
with screening by automated system and manual rescreening or review, under physician supervision. These tests may be identified by the brand name Thin Prep. Specimen collection is by cervical or endocervical scraping or aspiration of vaginal fluid. Flow cytometry, cell cycle, or DNA analysis. Specimen collection is by biopsy or needle biopsy for tissue and bone marrow, blood is drawn by venipuncture. To perform DNA or cell cycle analysis, the cells are first stained with a fluorescent dye. Flow analysis is performed to determine a cell's DNA content. Cell cycle analysis performed by cell cytometry can determine a cell's position in the cell cycle based on its DNA content. Flow cytometry, cell surface, cytoplasmic, or nuclear marker, technical component only, first marker. Each additional marker. These codes report the technical component for flow cytometry tests performed to identify specific cell surface, cytoplasmic or nuclear markers. To identify cell surface markers, a fluorescent dye is attached to antibodies or receptor ligands. The cells are subjected to flow cytometry and the amount of the receptor on the surface is detected by the level of fluorescence. Flow cytometry can also be used to detect multiple cell surface markers simultaneously. Antibodies used in flow cytometry are determined by the presumptive diagnosis. Detection of antigens by flow cytometry allows identification and quantification of cells with specific characteristics that may be indicative of immune deficiencies, malignancies, or other disease processes. Flow cytometry, interpretation, 2 to 8 markers, 9 to 15 markers, 16 or more markers. These codes report the interpretation of flow cytometry tests. Flow cytometry results as measured by the detector are typically displayed as dot plots or histograms. The physician must interpret these dot plots and histograms. The physician reports interpretation services based on the number of markers being analyzed. <laughs>